Joe here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing an LED upgrade on the Harley 2009 Dyna. Let's see what we got here. With MZS LED lights. And then these should be the smoked, uh, smoked lenses. Yes, they are for smoked lenses. So all links for products in this video will be in the video description below. And um, I didn't order the, I, I didn't order the load resistor, load balancer, whatever they call it. I didn't order that because I've heard mixed reviews or mixed results as far as people with Harleys all different years. Some people say they need the, them. I know they say 2012 up, you don't need them. Anything under you do, but I know people that have earlier Harleys that don't need them. They switched to LED and they were fine. They didn't get the hyper flashing. So we're gonna see what, what happens. We've got two bulbs. We've got two 1156s. These are for the rear, these are red. And then we have two 1157s. These are the 1156s, which are for the rear. And they have the 1156s, what you can tell is they only have one conductor there, or I should say one contact point, where the 57s will have two because the front ones, which take the 57s, they also work as running lights. So, you know, you've got one voltage or, you know, one live line going here for the running lights and then that one would do the blinker or vice versa whatever but the thing i like about these these are a little more heavy duty uh at you know i i know the other ones where it's just the the flat leds and then there's the the you know the the cable and then you got this connector and you got to put it in and i know some people say they have some problems with it or and some people don't but those ones are much cheaper they're like you know 19 bucks 20 bucks whatever these, I gotta put the link in the description. I think it was $39, I think I paid for these. So, and this was for the set of four. Two for the front, two for the back. So, let's install these and check it out. Now, to install these, all you're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver. It's gonna look for the indentation with the light, with the lens, and just twist, and it should pop out. There it goes. And the bulb's right there. And I'm also putting dielectric grease, although it doesn't come with it, I just, took my finger and wiped off the stuff from the other bulb and I just put it on here. There it goes. All right. Once you get it in, it's a little hard to turn because it's so flush. And once you get here, your fingers don't have any grip to turn, but if you just put a little pressure, it goes. That one came off much easier. Okay, that's in. I'm gonna test it. Let's see, I'm not put, I didn't put the smoke covers on yet, so we're just gonna test these in case you need to adjust them or move them. All right, that's the amber. All right. Yeah, we got a little hyper flash going on. Just left one. Let's see if it, yeah, start hyper flashing. Uh, as you do see, we did get we're getting hyper flash and we're also getting the security key on the dashboard over here, which uh, just means it's overcharged. I don't know if I'm gonna get the load balancer. I may, I may not, I don't know at this point. I'm just gonna do some research on it. Maybe I'll order it. I think it's like 70 bucks or so. Mounts underneath the seat, taps into the existing uh, uh, brake light. All right, so quick edit. I went and I ordered the smart signal stabilizer or the load balancer, or whatever you wanna call it. This is the one from Custom Dynamics. Uh, supposedly no heat. Uh, it's kind of, I was on the fence about it because, you know, it's 80 bucks or 89 bucks, I think it was. And that's pretty expensive. I mean, I already spent, you know, 40 bucks to convert to LEDs. Now I spent another, you know, 90 bucks to get them to work properly. You know, part of me is thinking, well, why even go for LEDs? I know they last longer, but God, <laughs> incandescent bulbs are like, you get a pack of 10 of them for like 10 bucks. Um, you know, it's definitely not for cost savings. It's definitely just for the cool factor look and they are brighter and they, they do look better. But yeah, if you're looking to convert to LEDs, it's not cost efficiency. They're not gonna save any any money, but they do look nicer. So I splurged and I got this. So let's install it. We gotta take out the seat. Make the seat off. Oh, there's a switch. 
confirm it's in the normal position. I can find let's just say rear that's a rear lighting harness. I'm actually going with that. Alright. Alright, we've got lights. Well, my security light went out, which that's good. Let's check the blinkers. Let's see if they go fast. Hmm, they're not going fast. Yeah, no fast blinking. We are good. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the video. That's going to wrap it up. Uh, that's the LED light install and installing the custom dynamics, um, the load equalizer. So, hey, if you like the video and you found it interesting or helpful, hit like, hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I uh, will have more videos to come. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the channel. And guys, have a great one. Later.